Hey everyone, I wanted to take a moment to discuss the different types of joins in SQL. So right off the bat, I've got on the screen here a diagram that discusses the four primary types. There is an additional type as well. Uh, the additional type is called the outer join. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to kind of talk about what the left and the right table are. So essentially, you might be thinking, well, the tables aren't really left or right. They're just we have tables inside of a join and you'd be correct okay so what the left table and right table refer to is the order in which the table is listed in the query so your left table is going to be the table that you list first inside the join the right table is the table that you list second inside of the join so with that sort of context, I think that should help sort of clarify what is going on in these joins. Now, in MySQL, the default join is the inner join. And you don't have to specify it. If you just say join table X on table Y, then essentially what's going to happen with the inner join, as you can see here visually, is that the primary keys that they have in common are gonna be reported. If there's a primary key that's only in the left table, or in other words, the first table that's mentioned, it won't be reported. If the, likewise, if the primary key is only in the right table, but does not appear in the left table, it will not be reported. So essentially, you have left join, where every primary key from the left table will be reported in addition, for the right table, in other words, the second table in the join, it's only going to report if it also exists inside the left. So in other words, it's everything from the left plus the intersection between the left and the right tables. Right joins are kind of the opposite. Okay, so you have everything from your right table, or in other words, everything from the second table in the query is gonna be reported plus the intersection for that key between the left and the right. Full join reports everything. So essentially, uh, outer join is similar to inner join. The difference is instead of reporting what they have in common, it only reports what they have different. Now there are times and places to use each of these. Uh, typically, I think inner join is gonna be what you're gonna stick with for the majority of things. But if you're given a task, like I want you to say, figure out where there's discrepancies in something, I think outer join would be very useful for that. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, run a few of these different types of queries. And I'm gonna be using a tutorial file that I've got. It's a really simple model. It's a couple of tables, customers, accounts, transactions, branches, and employees. And I've posted this in ELC. I've also got a link to this if you go to the about for this channel. Uh, I've got a uh, link to all of these files that I use in the channel. Uh, for this class, it's in the online SQL class. And essentially, what we have is we have a bank database. It's comprised of these five tables. So I think about what I may want to do joins based off of. Okay, so I may want to select all employees, their branches, and their accounts. So if I wanna do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything from the employees table. I say employees.asterisk to essentially say select everything from that table, everything from the branches table, and everything from the accounts table. Now then I have from employees, so employees here is acting as my left table because it appears first. Then I say join branches. So branches is acting here as my right table. Okay. Then I specify the on condition. So the on condition is essentially saying, okay, I understand you're joining these two tables together, but what key, what do they have in common? So you specify that by saying the table name dot whatever column you're using. In this case, we're using the branch ID column because both the employees and the branches table tables have that branch ID. So I say table dot 
column equals table dot column. Okay. Now I'm doing a second join here. So I still have employees in the second join acting as the left table. And then I have an inner join. I can tell because I don't specify I just leave it as the default join, which in my SQL is inner join. And accounts is the right table in this. On branches dot branch ID equals account dot branch ID. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and run this query. And when I run this, you can essentially see all of the employees, the branches they work at, and the accounts that they have. Okay, so we can see all of these individuals listed, every transaction, every account that they have access to. And it's quite useful to be able to do that. So if I wanted to change my output a little bit, maybe I only were interested in looking at left joins. I simply type the word left before join. Okay, and now when I do that, this is going to run as a left join. Okay, and you can do the same with right, you can do the same with inner, outer, it's really completely up to you. So that's the different types of joins in a nutshell. I'm not going to go through each of these queries, but I did post them all so that way you can go through them, you can play with them. And ultimately, I want you to try not just sticking with the default join, but see what happens when you do outer joins, for example. See what happens when you do the right and left joins. You know, definitely I want you to take some time to sort of play with that, but that should get you started. So I hope you have a great rest of your day.